How hot is too hot for dogs? If your area is going through a heat wave, you've probably experienced firsthand how uncomfortable it can be. In many cases, sweltering summer temperatures can even put human life in danger, but humans aren't the only ones who have to worry about the heat. Just like us, dogs face many health risks when temperatures soar. So while managing the hot weather with popsicles and pool parties, be sure that we don't forget about our furry friends. What temperatures are dangerous for dogs? The answer to that question might surprise you. Your dog's health may be in danger once the temperature rises above a temperature as low as 75 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 24 degrees Celsius. While this might not seem too hot for most humans, you should remember that dogs often have thick coats of fur and those can trap heat. Dogs also don't really have sweat glands, which makes cooling down even more difficult. Your dog can still safely go outside at this temperature, but we've got to keep a close eye on them and ensure that they have plenty of water. We also need to keep an eye out for signs of overheating. Temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or about 32 degrees Celsius can be more harmful to the dog. Even short periods outdoors in this weather can put our dog's safety at risk. So when temperatures get this high, we kind of need to keep our dog indoors, or at least in the shade, as much as possible. So how can we tell if our dog is actually overheating? You need to know the signs of overheating to try and protect your puppy. If your dog shows any of these symptoms, it might be time to have some cooling down. They include heavy panting, excessive drooling, difficulty breathing, rapid or irregular heartbeat, vomiting and diarrhea, lethargy, difficulty walking, dizziness or stumbling, exhaustion, and of course at the extreme end, seizures. So if your dog's showing any of these symptoms on a hot day, it's time to take them to a cooler environment, provide fresh water, and if it doesn't resolve, you will need to contact your vet. If you're a dog owner, the last thing you want is for your dog to feel unhappy. But when the summer weather gets intense, it can leave our dog feeling uncomfortable, stressed and sick. Dogs can't communicate how they feel. So once we start noticing these symptoms of overheating, there's a good chance they've actually been feeling overheating for a pretty long time. The reason it needs to be taken so seriously is because overheating can actually threaten a dog's life. Heat stroke and exhaustion can be fatal in pets. What about sidewalks? Can hot sidewalks hurt our dogs? Have you ever walked on a sidewalk during summer and had it burn into your feet? Chances are, your dog has too. Pavements can get super hot in the summer, even on days when the weather isn't particularly warm. As a result, some dogs come home with pretty sore paws after a summertime walk. But how can you tell if the sidewalk is too hot for your dog? Just put your bare hand on the sidewalk for at least 10 seconds. If we can comfortably do that without burning our hand, then the sidewalk will be safe for a dog to walk on. On days where the sidewalk is too hot, for the dog's safety, it might be best to keep them on the grass. Or you could even get your dog a pair of protective dog booties. Other ways to keep your dog safe in the heat. Sometimes avoiding the summer heat isn't an option. Not every home or kennel has air conditioning. Maybe our dog is getting restless and just needs to spend some time outdoors. No matter the reason, there are plenty of ways to keep your dog cool in the summer, even outside. We keep our dog cool by making sure that they have access to clean water at all times. If our dog is outside, we need to provide an area where they can lie down in the shade, protected from the blaring sun. A good idea is to take your dog for walks early in the morning or late in the evening, when temperatures do tend to be lower. Another great idea is to give a dog some frozen treats. You could buy some dog-friendly ice cream from a pet store, but a frozen banana, carrot or frozen watermelon are healthy, safe and easy treats for your dog that will help cool them down. You should of course never leave your dog alone in a car. Even if you crack the windows, the temperatures inside most cars during the summer will be pretty seriously deadly. Another idea is to put a cooling bandana around your dog's neck. As well as looking super stylish, a slightly wet bandana will help keep them cool. And there are of course commercial cooling mats that you can buy for your dog to lay on. So how can we actually exercise our dogs in hot weather? When the weather is hot and humid, the last thing that you and your dog may want to do is exercise. But as we know, keeping active is an essential part of staying healthy. There are plenty of things we can do to keep our dogs active even when it is just too hot to play fetch or go for a run. Here are some fun ideas to keep in mind. Option 1. Take your dog for a swim at the beach or the pool. Just keep an eye on them at all times, and you can even consider buying them a dog life jacket for an extra layer of safety. If your dog isn't much of a swimmer, consider just turning on the sprinkler and letting them run around in the water. You can also try getting creative with indoor playtime. Tug of war, treat finding, nose work and fetch are just a few ways to keep your dog active from the comfort of an air conditioned home. And finally, do some retail therapy. If you head over to a pet friendly store, public businesses usually have great air conditioning, making it the perfect environment to walk our dog around and give them a little bit of entertainment and exercise. There are some dog breeds that are at the highest risk of overheating. Any dog breed can overheat in the summer, but certain breeds have a heightened risk of heat induced sickness. Some of the most vulnerable breeds are brachycephalic dogs. The shape of these dog snouts makes breathing more difficult, especially in hot or humid weather. Examples of this type of dog include the bulldog. 
Pugs, Chow Chows, Mastiffs, Boston Terriers, English Spaniels, Japanese Chins, Pekingese, Boxers, and even the Tiny Shih Tzu. Is your dog on this list? If they are, you might need to keep a particularly close watch on them 